There's only one God, and he is great. You know, we all love mysteries, searching for clues, decoding cryptic messages, and best of all, finding the treasures. Welcome to Mystery Island, guys. We're excited to search with you this week as we follow up the clues laid out clearly in the Bible about who God really is. Everyone around you has ideas about who God is. From cashiers to firefighters to the president, everybody has an idea about who God is. But what is truth? Can it be found? Absolutely. I'm convinced that you can find the truth and that it's found in the Word of God. We read in the Bible that Paul understood that the people in Athens had a very complex worldview. Their worldview involved beliefs about many gods, even an unknown God. Knowing this, Paul started in the beginning laying a foundation about the one true God starting that creation in Genesis. When my family moved into the jungle to work with the Wano people, we found out that they had the same kind of worldview. Like the people of Athens, the Wano had many beliefs about evil spirits. The Wano people had heard about a creator spirit, and they also believed in other spiritual beings. Their lives revolved around what these spirits were doing, what they should do for them, and how they could live well with these spirits. They believed that the creator spirit was just like all the other spirits, and they believed a lot of wrong things about this creator spirit, and they didn't think it was wrong to give offerings to many different spirits, including the creator spirit. So, when we started teaching the Wano people, we knew that this would be very important to teach about the one true God who is far different from all their spirits. We had to go back to the beginning, lay a foundation, and teach about God's attributes one at a time. By teaching this way, the Wano people had the opportunity to hear about God one characteristic at a time and wrestle with whether or not it was the same as their worldview or different. What was new about the way we taught the Wano people was that it was a teaching based solely on God's word. This wasn't the Wild family opinion alone, it didn't come from our coworkers. It wasn't the teaching of one particular organization or even a nation. It wasn't a concept or program we had come up with. We explained to the Wano people that the Bible was given to us so that we could know the one true God. We could know what he was like and what he expected from us. Then the Wano people had to come to the decision of whether or not they would change their worldview based on the truth of the Bible or not. And now you guys will have the same opportunity this week as you learn more about who God is. You're gonna learn more about his attributes and his character and then you'll have to decide, is this what I believe about God? Or is this something new? That's the exciting part about studying the Bible. You'll never stop finding new clues, new paths to follow, and there are always new treasures to discover. The treasure you'll find in the Bible can't compare to any other earthly treasure. It's a treasure that will last for eternity. All right, guys, let's pray. Lord, thank you for being our true treasure. Thank you for sending us your word that we can study and know the truth. And thank you that you're revealing yourself to many people all around the world for your pleasure and glory. Thank you for bringing each of us to this place that we can learn about you. Lord, I pray for each one of us, each VBS student and worker, teach us something new about yourself. I pray we'll never become content thinking we've discovered all there is to know about you. Reveal yourself to us through your word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you.